Hi there. So the last few trips that I did, camping trips that I did with my van, you know, I uh, always seem to have a packing problem, you know, we're packing the back seat full and all that. So I decided, let's go ahead. And, uh, you know, I put pen to paper and, uh, you know, I made some drawings of what I would like as a packing system at the back of my vehicle. Um, I've got one or two photos of the mock-ups that I did, you know, with old wood that I had laying around. And then I took those measurements when I got to the final stage and I said, okay, that's exactly what I wanted. I measured, I uh, took those measurements, I took it to a, um, to a, a, a uh, basically uh, people that sell wood, you know. I decided I'm going to use uh, melamine wood, okay, which is for, you know, which you use in cupboards, in the built-in cupboards in the houses normally. And I felt, you know, we've got built-in cupboards in our house. It's been lasting for years. Let's see if it will work as a, you know, um, in a vehicle. So uh, this is what I did. I basically went and I had um, all my cuttings done. Okay, I, I got them to edge everything for me as well. Okay, I made one boo-boo. This board is f uh, 480 millimeters by 1,000 millimeters. Okay, this is my fridge, my base for my fridge slot. I actually went, silly me, when I wrote down the measurements, I actually wrote 100 instead of 1,000. And that's what I got. <laughs> okay, so, you know, uh, one zero missing and uh, they cut it wrong. So I, uh, with my off cuts, I basically cut this board. And as you can see, there's no edging on this one. I tried my hand at edging, but you know, my woodworking skills are questionable. So. I'm going to be putting this system together and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, as I go along, you know, I'll form a little bit as I go along. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put together like a box because what I'm going to have here is, I'm basically going to have um, a box about that high, okay, a box which will house the fridge and the fridge will have its own slide over here. And then over here, I'll be able to put four ammo boxes, two on top of each other and two in a row. Okay, for uh, ammo boxes or wolf packs, you know, whichever you want to call it. I've got, uh, you know, I've got the Mitsubishi 3.5 V6. Uh, it is a, a, a five, a five door. Okay, it's not the not the short wheelbase. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, you know put together the box and uh, put the box in, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like from there. All right, so I've started out. I've got the first piece together. We're going to put another one here and another one in the middle and put a top on and then we'll have our um, basic framework. Okay, so so far that's what it's looking like, okay. Two uh, ammo boxes, okay, um, on top of each other and also uh, one behind the other so I can get four ammo boxes in there. I've left enough space, you know, high-rise lids on the ammo boxes as well. This uh, piece over here is basically, you know, just a, a simple, uh, just to give you a simple idea. Okay, this is going to be my fridge slide. I will show you guys how that operates later. Okay, um, but so far the bottom section is almost done. Right, so this is uh, basically a base for my fridge. It's actually a fridge slide as well. What I've done is I've just taken the old brackets, the tie down brackets, that was inside the Pajero's rear. I just took it out, okay, and I put it um, on this board. I'll show you now what, what, what that is for. That's to hold the fridge down with, with, with tie down straps. But this is how the fridge works, uh, how the slide works. So basically, this is how it works, okay. It slides out up until about there, okay, and then the fridge. Um, I'm gonna mount it and I'll show you, you know, and it's pretty strong. Okay, so I managed to get the holes lined up over here, okay, so the baseboard basically gets bolted onto the body of the car, okay, that just to stabilize, remember when this thing is all packed up, it, there's going to be lots of weight here, okay, so I've got that sorted out, so now I put the, the fridge, this is, this is the slide, I've explained earlier how the slide works, it's just basically two battens down the side, okay, and I've got uh, basically two battens, you know, on the edge over here there's one batten there's one batten it's just to lift the board um you know 
um, so that we have a bit of clearance underneath so that I could put these brackets on and the brackets are basically bolted you know like that and these brackets purpose is basically to bolt you know so that I can so that I can lash down my, my, my fridge onto this platform here. I've drilled a hole in the side where I can put a long shaft through like that, okay? And that locks the whole fridge unit, okay? That's, that's, that fridge slide is going nowhere, okay? So you can just basically pull it out, okay? It's a bit tight, but it will wear loose as time goes by. And once that's been taken out, the fridge can slide pretty easily, okay? So, I've put a stop on it as well, okay, which is just basically another another board in the front so that there's a lip, okay, so that the lip basically catches on the bottom here so that when you close it, it won't go, that's as far as it will go, okay. Opening it up is a bit tricky, but all that I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to be putting a pin, a pin mark there because I'm basically the only one in and out of the fridge here anyway. So I'll be, look, this will go in a little bit further, about there. And then, you know, that, because of these beams, these little uh, b beams that I have here, it's really strengthened this board. Okay, so it should be able to take quite a bit of weight. All right. But look, the proof is in the pudding. You know, I'll be trying it out as time goes by. But this is my alternative, you know, to a very expensive um, uh, setup. This is a little bit wobbly at this moment in time, but there is a backboard going to come. And that backboard will come at the back there. It's basically going to come till about here. It's going to be bolted on because it's going right up to the to the roof so that we can pack our big items here. Okay, I'm putting another board in here. And, um, you know, you'll see as, as it progresses, but basically this is the bottom. And this is affixed to the corner, all right? It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to put the fridge on quickly uh, onto the side, and I'm going to show you how that works. Right, so that is my fridge on the slider now. It's struck down. So, you know, it's, it's, it's part of that slider now. Okay, got two straps, one either side. All right, now I'll put it in, and I'll show you how nicely it slides in there. So now that's where the fridge is, okay, that's in on the slider. So if I need to open the fridge up, okay, it's a little tight because it's new, okay, and that's as far as I need to pull it out, okay, because I've got the thermal, we've got the thermal cover on permanently, okay, and the fridge opens up nicely. So in actual fact, I can push it in just until, you know, just until the door um, upper, until the door operates nicely, like that, okay, and the weight of the fridge. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not going gonna go anywhere. So what I'm going to do So I'll just take a permanent marker and put a mark there a black mark there on my board Okay, so that I can see how far I can pull my fridge out. I'll just put that mark there It's quite a, quite a quick reference for me All right, so I know that's as far as I should pull my fridge out. It can be pulled out a little more So I close the door, okay? get the we get the thermal now remember when you at camp you know um, yeah, the only time you'll go into a fridge is when you need something and you're just gonna go in and come out quickly all right so with it being pushed in you can see that I've got enough ventilation okay for my for the vents of the fridge okay it's gone in there it's nice and secure I've got my locking pin which I which I can put in there to lock up my you know to to lock the the, the 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 that will go nowhere okay and um yeah so when i do need to open get get to my fridge i'll just basically pull it and i'll monitor uh, where my black mark is you see my black mark there i'll say okay black mark there then i know that when i do open my fridge up when i do open up my fridge it's easy okay um, in actual fact you know we can close her like that as well okay with the covers we can close her like that with the covers too um, you know if you're at camp you don't need to put the cover back every five minutes okay and then I can just pull it out okay watch my black mark you see even if I pull it past the black mark it's still pretty safe the weight okay uh, that's just a, ga a gauge for me that black mark there then I know that I can that I can fully open my fridge door okay that it won't rub up against the, the cover there so that's basically my idea of a of a fridge slide okay it's fairly secure 
as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, when I looked at all uh, different uh, uh, um, um, options, you know, um, I thought to myself, this will work, you know. So now I can get uh, four ammo boxes in over here, and I've got some more space here. So here's going to be a board. This board's going to come all the way almost up until the window on, on either side. That's two ammo boxes on top of each other. Okay, you can see it will go in deep enough for four in a row as well. And then I've also made enough room up here, um, you know, so that we can put a high lid on at least two of the boxes. Okay, and uh, I think those ammo boxes will be enough storage. One for kitchen, one for recovery gear, one for bids and bobs. And, you know, just figure out how many boxes we actually do need. Because at the end of the day, once we get up here, you know, we'll have the big, you know, I've got now an inflatable sup. So the sup will go up here, the tent will go up here, the chairs, you know, the poiki and things like that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. But it's going to give me a lot of space, a lot more space than I had before. Because we, what we were doing, we were packing the back seat for. So we couldn't take any passengers with us if we uh, were going out, you know, if we're going camping or whatever. But with this system, I'll be able to seat a few people on the back seat over here. I don't know about the luggage though. <laughs> but we're going to have this, there's going to be, the board is going to come from, from there, it's going to go right up to the ceiling. But you see, there's a little bit of cutaway over here, so I'm going to have to shape that board. I'm going to have to cut it at an angle here, you know, just so that it fits nice and snug. And then, of course, the board itself will bolt onto the back of this box. It'll bolt on from uh, quite a ways down there, maybe where my hand is. But you'll see when it's done. Okay. And so far, I mean, if you flip this seat back, here you could, you could also put some stuff in there behind the fridge. You know what I mean? Um, I was actually thinking of putting a little basket, bolting a basket onto the, onto the fridge, onto the fridge slide. And there I can just, uh, you know, store little things like um, maybe, uh, you know, all, all our torches and things like that, spare batteries and so on. But I'll, I'll work it out, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. But no expensive items so far. It has costed me 2,000 Rand for the wood and the cutting of the wood. Okay. And of course a bit of wood screws. Uh, 2,000, just a little under 2,000 Rand so far. And a little bit of elbow grease and sweat. And uh, the results are starting to show nicely now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start fiddling around with that top section now. Okay, so that is basically the idea. Now I've got a platform over here and I've got a, a stop at the back there so that, uh, you know, things won't roll to the inside of the cabin. And um, the beauty of it is, is that, uh, you know, we can still uh, sit we can still seat some people here okay we can still seat some people there um, so it's not going to be a problem where you know I can't take any any passengers with me okay all right so that's gonna work out quite nicely and uh, things won't come tumbling um, down into the cabin of the car it's just I'm going to lose my rear view mirror I mean the, the rear lookout but that's fine I'm used to it you know with towing caravans and all that kind of thing I just have to, this section here, I have to cut this piece and maybe put it, uh, either make a hatch or a hinge, you know, so that I can take my battery, put my battery, take my battery in and out when I need to. Okay, my spare battery is unfortunately mounted back here. But that's basically the idea of, uh, you know, of my packing system, you know, which didn't, which costed me just on 2000 Rand for all the material and so on. And I did it all myself, as you can see my cutting, I told you my woodworking uh, skills are not very good. And that back panel there, you know, um, I don't know how one does that, you probably need, uh, you know, to really make a sketch or make a template, template out of cardboard or something like that. You know, but that's the best, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. Um, so what I am going to do also on, the, on, on this board over here. I'm going to put one or two tie down, uh, tie down latches, you know, the latches where you can basically, um, you know, you can either put bungee cord across or whatever so that your load doesn't move around too much, you know, but um, it's a work in progress. And I mean, uh, you know, that is basically the idea, you know, the door closes nicely. We're going to now have, um, you know, we have our seat back and then we can pack 
you know, and we can even access, uh, you know, through the window over here. I was thinking of putting a, a hatch or a latch in here, but I don't see, I don't think it's necessary. Because once I open the window here, then I can actually access this, this, this piece, this bit over here. All right. So, you know, that's my idea. I hope that it inspires you guys, you, if you, if you have a 4x4 and you're on a budget, um, you know, to uh, basically uh, do something similar. So I have the finished product for my packing system, okay, um, a few additions that I've done, um, you know I just mounted the multi-plug, so when we get to a caravan site I can just plug it in and you know we can do all sorts of uh, um, things from there, I can access it uh, through my window, okay, uh, normally when we are at camp, you know when the awnings rolled out, I normally put a table down here anyway, you know, um, and we boil our water and, you know, all sorts of things on that, and that's right opposite. Let's open that window. So I have easy access, okay, over there, so I can plug in whatever I need to plug in. Uh, you can see the multi-plug has got uh, USB ports, you know, and the usual uh, two-prong and three-prong plugs. Okay, it does have a circuit breaker. I made sure that I got one. That cost about 350 Rand for that multi-plug. And then, of course, I've got access to these uh, loose items in here. So what I keep in here is basically, you know, odds and sods and like um, extension cables. And, um, you know, I got my whole bag of um, 10 pegs and so on in there. Okay, and then I've just sort of lashed down uh, two chairs just to show how this how the system works so you can basically just use uh, you know cable ties or bungee cord or whatever and uh, what's you what's so nice about these these can be moved around okay you can sort of move it put it wherever you want to and then just put it in, in and it locks okay it's basically spring loaded um, I've got one rail this side and I've got one rail that side about what is this about 700 meter uh, 700 centimeters Okay, 0 0.7 of a meter, you can call it. And then, of course, my fridge slide. All right, I do have my lock in there. And then the fridge slides. And then, as I say, you know, I've just made a mark there with a cookie. Okay, so that I know I shouldn't pull it out more than that. The thermal cover, once, once I get to, to a campsite, I normally just take the thermal cover loose like that. And that's it, you know, I don't put it back every five minutes. And then the fridge is easily accessible. Okay, right. And uh, obviously, once you've got what you wanted, I just push the fridge back in like that. Okay, all right. And I just leave the thermal cover to, to, to sort of hang there. All right. Um, but uh, what's more unique about this now, um, what I've done is, uh, let me show you a little addition I've done. So previously I had to, when I wanted to remove one of these boxes, I had to basically take, um, you know, take two out at a time. So what I decided to do was to put in this extra shelf over here so that the box don't interlock with each other. So I can actually take them out one by one because at the end of the day when these boxes, you know, once you've packed for a trip, these boxes are heavy. And with these boxes being pretty heavy it's going to be sort of difficult to remove two boxes at the same time so just that little partition there you know uh, helps okay and um, works pretty well so you can see you know the four boxes that has been taken out I've just got it roughly marked you know I've got my recovery gear in that one over there Let's show you, you have an idea, and you can see now why I bought high, high lid boxes, okay, that's my recovery gear, so basically I have an inverter, I have an inverter in there to turn 12 volts to 220 volts, and then I have recovery gear, I have a toe strap and a snatch strap and the bow shackles and gloves, then I have a compressor, okay, a portable compressor to pump up my tires. So that's my that's my recovery gear in there, and um, 
that one I normally put right at the bottom I put that one right at the bottom at the back because it's things that you hardly use but remember now if I do need to use it I only need to take one more box out of the way okay I don't need to take all four of the boxes out that's why that shelf there I must just try and put a bit of edging on here to finish that off but I'm actually not going to do that because I'm going to use the system for a while and um, if it does work and I'm happy with it I'm going to I'm going to uh, have it made I'm actually gonna have it cut um, out of marine ply um, and uh, do a permanent uh, you know a sort of permanent uh, solution um, because as you can see that board at the back it's not cut very neatly okay another uh, thing that I have here let me just show you the idea that I came up with um, now remember that my battery is back here so when I pull the seat down I have just you know certain tools that I use quite often um, you know like your chopper and your screwdriver 13 spanner 19 spanner and these I used the 19 spanner I used to take my spade off and the 13 spanner I used to take out my table that's mounted on my roof rack but very simply I've just used um, rubber o-rings you know and uh, when my seat is down I just throw the rubber o-ring in that cup holder there and then of course the screwdriver comes out pretty easily okay but while we uh, while we're driving you know with a with a um, with a rubber o-ring there I just give it a, a little bit of a twist in the front like that and then I just stretch it to the back. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's taking a little longer than it normally does. And then just, just like that, you know, and that will prevent that from rattling around. And I do exactly the same thing here with a, with a 13 spanner, you know, size 13 spanner. Quite easily comes out. All right, just a rubber, a rubber o-ring there. Stretch it across the two nails so that we can you know it doesn't fall fall out while we're riding the same with the chopper the 19 spanner and the machete okay and then of course i've got another idea here i've bolted a little basket down to the back of the of the fridge where i keep uh, you know all my odds and sods in there you know like uh, you know tie down straps and a spare torch and so forth but this back section here i need to cut a piece out so that i can remove my spare battery when i need to because right now um, you know, it's a mission to get the battery out. So just, 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 a, just a little square like that. So when the battery is loose, it can just be pulled straight out the back over here. All right. And um, you know, I've got a little hanger there for my, for my um, hats. <laughs> you know, when it gets really sunny out. So, you know, that is um, my packing system that I basically designed myself and uh, it's practical it works for me and uh, you know uh, if I can inspire you to uh, uh, tackle a project as simple as this for your vehicle whether it be a, a, a bucky or whether it be a SUV um, you know go for it because the thing is I mean that's what this channel is all about it's learning new things now also the nice thing about ammo boxes is that you can actually um, you know, once they sort of packed out, you can use them to, uh, uh, you know, to put things on, you can use them as seats, you know, sitting, sitting around, you know, when you maybe have uh, visitors and you don't have extra chairs. So, ammo boxes are, you know, multi-purpose things. So now with the, with the system, I find now momentum when manipulated, so I put in my recovery here, right at the bottom, it goes all the way back, and then I have another, I have another, um, I just want to show you what I have in this box here. The versatility the versatility of the of these ammo boxes you know is sort of limitless um, this particular one I call it little all, all the bits that I need okay so inside I have a uh, you know my my hiking uh, kitchen 
okay it's got a, it includes a stove I have some <coughs> welding gloves which I use to handle the fire and the grid you know um, I've got hand cleaner you know how your hands always get dirty at camp and so on and then I have a hammock a portable hammock which I can string between two trees in there I've got a spare globe for my lead light um, then of course a spare gas uh, canister for my stove you know that goes with that and then just odds and bits here you know like a, a tap you know like a tap for uh, 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 the, the, the 10 litre water jug I carry around and then my, one, my tablecloth for my, ta for my table that's mounted um, under there I normally keep a nice clean brush around just to brush away dirt you know you know what it's like what it's like it's dirty around and then of course emergency matches and a lighter and uh, uh, basically a flint you know to start the fire in an emergency so that's basically what I've got in there and then um, I went to uh, I went to um, Mambo's and I got this this uh, little storage unit that fits nicely into here so here I have like knife extra you know cable uh, connectors pliers and so on and then below that I've got to take you closer with the camera there um, you know it has this little section here and it's got these compartments you know little uh, um, sections that can come out and you can individually just store little things in there okay you know like uh, the caravan plug that you need at, at a lot of the ca caravan places when you want to use the electricity and so on i got some duct tape and insulation tape you know just your your, your things that you use you know and uh, you know spare washers for the gas tank and bull nose adapters and so on um you know things that you use generally at the camp and that has its own lid which basically just clips into place like that and that that mounts nicely you know that mounts nicely inside the box and then of course i'll just you know all these things there's lots of space here still you know for other things but right now um you know i'll add as i need as i need to but for now i have everything that i need okay and remember this is a high lid box i can pack more things up if I have to, or taller items, and um, that closes. So that box, I will put just behind my recovery gear, okay? And then of course we have, I have uh, my food, that's, that's empty at the moment, all right? So the food is stored in that box, and the kitchen will be stored in that box. And the kitchen is basically your cutlery, crockery, things like that you know with the eyelid box you can get quite a few things in there so yes that is my idea of a packing system everything fits nice and neatly the boxes basically they push right up against the back seat because that is why I've got the hole in the back um, if I flip the seat back I purposely made a hole in the in, in, in the back of the board so that the box comes all the way otherwise it wouldn't be this, this uh, space wouldn't be long enough for the boxes and I wouldn't be able to close the back door so it pushes against the back seat and it also pushes against the door the door just 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 about makes it against the boxes and that will oh, prevent the boxes from sliding around okay so backing system a la Gary version one